local industry analysts and forecasters tend to only look at the auto market. But that wish list needs to expand for a broad look at what consumers really care about. The forecasting issue is always something that every analyst, and, and, and I don't want to use the term analyst when I'm applying it to me because that's not what I do, uh, but every analyst relies on some sort of forecasting. Uh, the problem is that for the most part, car company or industry people, auto industry people, look at only the auto industry. One of the things that's kind of unique about what we do is that we look at the totality of spending, what attitudes are in the totality of spending, and what attitudes are in terms of what people will spend their money on, what they're willing to spend the money to buy. When we looked at our wish list, which we do every year, we do our annual wish list, and we can see that people are saying, you know what, I'm going to buy, probably I'm going to wind up buying a used car this year. I'll give you an example. In 1985, buying a new car was third on the wish list. Okay, out of the top, anything over $2,500 was third on the wish list. In 2010, it was, it was 14th. And it has, has consistently fallen. Uh, used cars were way down at the bottom of the list in 1985 and have been steadily increasing over the course of that period of time because people are becoming more conscious of other things that they want to buy. Not because, they're, not because their income is shorter or, or smaller, but of the money they have available, they're going to allocate it different ways.